Welcome back to Reaper for Podcasting. I'm Daniel Abendroth, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with bad breaths, and it doesn't involve breath mints. <laughs> All right. So sometimes you might have a client or you're working on a show and the breath is really loud. I'm going to show you how to reduce the volume very easily. The inspiration of this video came from Emily Peck Prokop. So big shout out to Emily. Please check her out. Uh, but she has a system. I'll demonstrate it right now. So with her method, whenever you do have a breath that's too loud, and you would highlight that section, hit one key, and it will split it and then drop it down. And on this track, you would lower the volume. So that way it's boost. And if you make it quieter. 10 years, even. Pretty simple. And it worked for me for a very long time. And then I got to think about how we can do this a little bit better and not actually have a, the need for a second track. So that's when I came up with my method. So it's a custom action. So go under actions, show action list, new action, new custom action. So the first thing that we want to do is look for split items at time selection. So bring that over. And then this one, this gets a little complicated. Uh, if you do a search for one minus one dB, uh, you're going to bring over nudge item volume one dB, and you're gonna do that 10 times. Name it, click OK, and then assign it to something. I usually do Z. So now whenever you highlight a section and hit Z, and if you make it, it drops it 10 dB. So essentially it's doing the same thing, but without the need for that second track. And I took it a couple of steps further, because when you do this, and if you make it 10 years, and like highlight another section, you keep doing it for this one because this is what's highlighted. So we're going to fix that. So go back into your action list. We're going to edit this. And then you're going to look for unselect all items and add that to the very end. So now what happens whenever you hit Z, it lowers the volume. And now this is no longer highlighted. Reduced. And if you make it 10 years, even and now you can keep going on and on. So the next thing I want to do is because I like to do this and not stop editing. The recurrence is reduced. And if you make it 10 years, even better, the chance of recurrence is reduced even further. If you and now I'm behind the cursor with no way to catch up because I don't need to come back and check this. I know I can just highlight that section, drop the volume and keep on going. So what I'm going to do is open up this action list, edit this, and do a search for go to play cursor slash position, add that in, and then wherever you want to put it, doesn't matter where. So as long as it's after all these nudges. And then I'm also going to consolidate undo points because otherwise, if you want to undo it, you have to control a command Z each one of these 10 nudges, and that's just too much. So consolidate undo points. So that way, whenever you do it, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that, control Z undoes everything. So now that we did, uh, we added that go to play cursor. Let me just remove selection. The chance of recurrence is reduced. And if you make it 10 years, even better, the chance of recurrence is reduced even further. If you make it 15 years. If you see, whenever I hit Z, it drops the volume, unselects everything, but then also catches back up to the cursor. So that way I don't actually have to hit any other keys or like pause play in order to get back to the cursor. It just catches up automatically. I hope you found that useful. If you have other tricks and how you deal with bad breasts, please leave a comment down below. And as always, I do want to encourage you to join the Facebook group. It's called Reaper for Podcasting. I'll put a link in the description. And if you have any ideas of what you want to learn about with Reaper, please leave a comment and I will make a video about it. All right. Until next time, I will see you later.